I think it's a watercolor and I'm gonna take it with me. All right, well today, I planned on going to Maryland, but I changed my mind and I decided to stay local. So we are here in Lemoyne, sitting outside of the Goodwill, and we're about to head in and see what we can find. Dubai and flip for a profit. So here we go. It's kind of quiet here today. I like it. <laughs> Look at all of these Hummel plaques. Those are adorable, $3.99 each. I don't know how much they sell for. I think I've had them in the past, but these ones in the back are super cute. Look at those. I don't think I've seen those ones, but there's some damage on those. Look down here at the buttons. Buttons are always fun. <laughs> like the flower buttons. Norman Rockwell prints. Let's see what else we can find. There's some reproduction cast iron. Pretty rough shape though. I had coffee with my sister this morning and she asked me to keep my eyes peeled for a tan, green, or blue planter. She's one of those plant people. She loves loves plants. It's her obsession, so <laughs> I told her I'd keep my eyes peeled. Mission accepted, but I don't think that's the right one. Hmm. I think that one might be a, a hobbyist piece. I just kind of like the form of it. And the flowers are nice. They're not stocking the shelves at the moment. I don't see any bins out. That might be why it's so quiet here. Usually as soon as they wheel the bins out, that's when people just start like piling in. It's crazy. It's like people know. We still might get lucky though. Sweet. That would have been nice for my mom's Christmas tree. I think you guys, I told you guys that she did like an owl themed Christmas tree this year. Sounds like something I would have done. <laughs> it's kind of neat looking. Seems to be the spot now where they are putting the knickknacks and the figurines. This one is just absolutely adorable. <laughs> I just can't help myself. It's so cute. Like, who thinks of these things? Like, oh, let's create a figurine of two moose. Is is moose plural as well? Mooses? Meese? Probably mooses. Two moose? <laughs> let's create a figurine of two moose getting married. I had to look this up because I feel like this is something. It has to be, right? It's probably not anything. <laughs> it's just so funny. So we have to look it up. We just have to know. Anyway, first thing in our cart is two mooses. All right, longer burger, $6.99. No, I mean, that's not too terrible. This one's really dirty though. I just realized that when I turned it over. I think it was on the wall for a while. $6.99. I was thinking for Jess, but that was just really kind of, kind of, I was like, you know what, I like that dark color on it, and then I turned it over and I realized, oh wait, no, that's dirt. <laughs> Maybe I'll take, you know what, I'll take a picture and see if she wants it. I was going to say that looks like Poppy Trail, but look <laughs> at that giant crack on it. Maybe not for us, and that one is that Pioneer Woman. I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it, but I don't know. Alright. I'm not really seeing a whole lot today. I may hang around um, and wait for Pimper now. 
Those are actually quite nice. $3.99 for the whole stack. We have butterflies. Grinch chase. We will look those things up. Those can be worth good money. And I like that design more than more than some of the Pimpernel uh, placemats. Yeah. I'll look those ones up. There's some geisha wear. So I looked up Olin Chase Pimpernel. <laughs> um, and here are some asking prices. And holy smokes. $2.45, $1.49, $1.10. Then you got this random $17. <laughs> but those... Those are coasters, so we're going to switch this over to sold. Alright, those are all coasters. Yeez, oh my gosh. Those are placemats. Sold for $245. What? No way. Wait a second. There's this green one in the back. Is that that same green one? No, that's a Santa Claus one. I don't know. Those, okay. I'm gonna just take those with me. There's no butterfly solds. The one on there is a different one. But if the butterfly sells for anything like that one, that could be something really, really good. I'm gonna have to look on Worth Point for that because uh, there's no sold comps for the butterflies. Oh, that was kind of like a hidden, that could be like a hidden gem right there. Anyway, let's check these shelves. I was noticing this down here. I thought this was kind of fun. <laughs> it's the plastic version of the um, chip and dip that I picked up the other day. not seeing a whole lot but we're over here by the door and it looks like they're about to actually wheel out a fresh cart so we're in the right place i like the beading on that this is nice but it just feels really flimsy i like the aesthetic but it's just too flimsy <laughs> no phone cord purses that's a cute bag i like that Fish pattern. It is Vera. The fish are fun. I don't think I've seen that one before. What is that? Squirrel. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Is it like a coconut shell maybe? Anyway, um, I might look up the fish Vera just because I've never seen it before and I'm kind of curious. So the pattern is actually called Go Fish. <laughs> That's really fun. Anyway, I'm going to put that back now because I just spotted something way cooler. Look at this. Wait, no, it's not as cool as I thought it was. <laughs> That's weird looking. Made in Honduras. Hmm. It's kind of a fun shape, isn't it? It looks neat on a shelf. Odd art pottery. It's actually coming over here to check out this chicken. <laughs> Probably made in Japan. That's plastic. I picked it up expecting it to be ceramic. <laughs> what are those? Gold sandals. Those are fancy. Alright, well they rolled out a fresh car. I'm just going to peek through it real quick. It's a fun looking bag. Vintage. Sorry, if I'm in your way, just feel free to kick me out. <laughs> What's that? Another one go for okay. <laughs> Looks like this one is mostly just dishes and puzzles and games. And a bunch of stuffed animals. 
Somebody's penguin collection. What is that? Four ninety nine. Looks like it belongs over in the Christmas section. I think that's a piece of burl wood. A little tempted, but I don't think I'd be excited to list that and it would probably just hang around for a while. I don't need to be picking things like that up. Well, it's days like this when the Goodwill isn't super crowded that I can set you guys up on the shelf and show you things like this. Check this out. I just found this. It's $3.99. I'm like, what is that thing? It looks like a secret map to treasure, right? Check this out. It looks like nothing, right? And I'm unrolling it and I'm like, this is stupid. I'm gonna put it back. I just keep going, going, going. Wait, there's more. Ready? People are looking at It's artwork. I think it's a watercolor and I'm going to take it with me. I could probably start at that end and like unroll it all the way to the other end of the aisle, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick it in my cart and keep going. We'll have to do that at the shop. Penguins. So this must have been somebody's pattern. <laughs> I think everybody held their pattern that they preferred. And here's another one of those go fish patterns. I'd never seen it before today, and now I've seen it twice. Somebody was over it. <laughs> Clearly. Alright, so I don't have a whole lot in my cart. It's kind of sad. And a part of me is like, should I wait? Should I hang around? I don't know. We still have the Christmas to check out. I'm gonna try not to look at the Christmas, but also it's just right over there. Ooh, what's that? This is a prelude coffee mug. It was cool until it said prelude. All right, well, there really wasn't a whole lot here in the Christmas. <laughs> Nothing exciting for the most part hoping for something, but didn't really find much. And now we find ourselves in the huts, which I don't normally wander over here. I feel like we may have looked at these, or maybe it's just a pattern I've seen before. <laughs> kind of vintage and cool. Here I am looking through the coffee mugs, usually, lately. Um, I've been picking up more of the art pottery mugs than the mass-produced pieces. Nothing's really jumping out at me. I like the color of that. But, C. Yes. We. <laughs> that one's kind of nice, isn't it? You may never know. Put a succulent in that. I wonder what the marking is on the bottom of that. I may peel it. Maybe if we can just get our nail under. No, I gotta reposition you guys. You're like staring at the ground. <laughs> Let's see. There's definitely a marking there. And it's a little heavy to be Japanese, and that's why my first instinct was Japanese. And I picked it up and it was a little <coughs> bit heavy, so I'm like, eh. Maybe it's not? <coughs> I want to know. <laughs> it's funny. The song on the radio said I want to know at the same time. Alright, let's see. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Alright, no markings. There is probably a sticker there. You can see remnants of a sticker. So it is probably made in Japan. Pretty yellow piece. $2.99. <laughs> no chips or cracks. I might grab that. I mean, it's not a super high value item, but it's a pretty color. Nice decorative base. So we'll grab it for that reason. Oh, let's see. 
if there's anything else. Anything else we may have missed on the first walkthrough. Uh, they may be pushing out fresh carts here in a few minutes. I don't know. We'll hang around for a little bit longer. That's kind of a pretty, uh, I guess that's maybe a jardinier. Has the shape of one. Is there a marking? Shall we peel and find out? I didn't see a marking on the bottom, so I'm going to leave that one behind. That says I can definitely see something underneath that one. So we're just gonna do one of these. Black duck. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clearly that's a black duck. You couldn't tell that was a black duck? <laughs> the most secret is surprised that there isn't any damage on that. And here comes my dilemma because I'm like, is it worth a lot of money? Probably not. If I don't buy it, it's probably going to end up shit some damage. It's $2.99. That, you know, that's something that I could throw in whatnot for a couple bucks, buy it now. We will rescue it. It's a rescued item. Those look mighty fancy. I in France. For M.A. Hudson. They are all chipped up around the edges. It's a shame because that looks like a fancy pattern. Is that Mickey Mouse? I think it is. Is that another flesh cart? Lots of toys, it looks like. And a giant suitcase. Those are fun toys. This looks like some sort of chemistry set. There's a monkey. Oh my gosh, I remember this guy from when I was a little kid. Mm. You haven't seen very much excitement. A few leaves. There's Jabba the Hutt. See, I know who that is. I'm not like completely oblivious to the Star Wars. Those guys are weird. Is that um, the X-Files? Yeah, it is the X-Files people. Say again. I know who they are. I want to put those in here because those are vintage. See? I know nothing about vintage toys, but now look at that. Those are all vintage. What is this? Shamrock crystal souvenir. Horror. These Funko things, I know Funko collectors can be like really, really specific. Specific? Picky? I don't think specific is the word I was looking for. What? There's another something under there. Alright, I think I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Here is some Avon Cape Cod collection in the box. Wine decanter. Hmm. I don't think I really ever found it in the box. Maybe I'll pick those up and see what they sell for in the box because the Cape Cod Avon is one of the ones um, that I will make an exception for. <laughs> so the, they wheeled out the carts and I was feeling a little nostalgic and I grabbed quite a few things. And I just kind of want to wheel my cart over here and see what I grabbed in the frenzy because I'm, I'm feeling like, oh, what, what, what was I doing? What was I thinking? Um, so I grabbed this guy because I remember having one of these as a kid. I don't know really if it has any value. He's cool though. Little Monkey Lost. Oh, I wonder if his mouth, I don't remember mine having a light up mouth. I guess this guy does. Anyway, I'm gonna look him up. And uh, we'll see how much he is worth real quick. The nostalgia doesn't always pay because this isn't worth very much. So I think I'm going to end up sticking this in um, with the rest of the stuffed animals. Um, Jess has not gotten back to me about this basket. So I don't know. I guess it's not, it's not 
that expensive. I might just pick it up and um, if she gets back to me, it's hers. And otherwise, I guess I could sell it. Um, we we're gonna look up the Avon. I love to, trying to focus on the monkey. But I did a search here on eBay for Avon Cape Cod. Um, so you can see here what people are asking. Here someone has <laughs> a uh, collection. They're asking $1,125. These are asking prices. We are going to switch over to sold and see what they're actually selling for. Highest to lowest. That I can't explain. I don't know what you guys can use it. Hold it like this. I can't explain this. I don't know why that was 1200. That's absolutely insane. Here are some full sets, 123 pieces. Maybe the prices come down in this. All right, I'm going to do a search for just the candlesticks and see what that turns up with. It looks here like the candlesticks sell for a about 20, oh, we're getting down to the, yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, so I'm gonna put this back on the shelf. Not worth it. I do wanna see what's in that box. Aren't you curious? Don't you wanna know what's inside that box? That's the book. Shamrock Crystal Souvenir. Oh, it's in Ireland. Crystal Souvenir. I mean, it's pretty cool, but it is a souvenir. I didn't really pick up souvenirs. Mm, I might go back on the shelf too. <laughs> now I'm like having second thoughts about things. But the bin, when the bins get rolled out, sometimes you just gotta grab stuff and then think about it later. And that's what we're doing now. Why do those have little? Those are weird. They have like little buggy things on the bottom. 2001. Playmates, toys. Hmm. I'll try to look those up. Cart is now thinning out because I am placing things back where I found them. <laughs> I looked up good old Muldern Skull here. Um, they don't sell for very much either. I don't know. I guess I'm not on my game today. I'm picking up stuff that's ho hum, but the pickings are pretty slim, so it's not my fault. <laughs> I am pretty pleased with my placemats down at the bottom, and this thing is wild. I'm really happy with that. So. I think I'm just trying too hard. Maybe that's what it is. I'm trying too hard. I should just accept the, the fact that I've got two pretty decent things in my cart and move on. Right. I've been staring at this thing in my, <laughs> my cart, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I need them. I think this is like a case for a camera or binoculars or something. I think I'm going to put it back. Stick it here. Also, I grabbed this off um, and I, I tried looking it up. Greg Allen Photography. And um, I found one listed, a Greg Allen Photography, for $25 on eBay. Um, but I couldn't find any sold. So I think I'm going to go stick this back with the artwork. I found it out just on the main shelves. And then I think, oh, the moose. We forgot about the mooses. <laughs> have to look up the mooses. You have to know. And then I think we're going to get out of here. I think this is our mooses. <laughs> I think that's them. Right? No, that's not. That's Those are different mooses. can't find them. They're <laughs> buck 99. They're going in my whatnot safe. They're going to be buying house. Somebody can be the proud owner of some mooses. And don't come for me in the comments because I know that's not correct. I'm just being silly. And sometimes it's okay to be silly. Sometimes it's fun. Hmm. Red wire. There's no markings on it though, so it's just made to look folk party. And it's not actually. All right. Let's get out of here. We've been here for way too long. Way, way, way too long. This video, this video is, this video was over 10 minutes ago. $3.99. Packed with pride. It looks like it might be fun for laurels. So I think I'm going to pick that up. Socks. 
Oddly enough, I need socks. <laughs> I was in Florida so long that I walked out of the house today in sandals to have coffee with my sister. And I realized that it's only like 37 degrees today. And so I had to dig through the back of my car for shoes. And I happened to have these brand new Converse sneakers. <laughs> like, I could wear those. But I don't know what is worse wearing sandals in 37 degrees or wearing sneakers without socks. It's been horrible. So now I've found some socks. And they're definitely too small for me. And then there's these over here, which are just, they look really heavy. And they're men's. Actually more socks around the corner. And these are like so much better. <laughs> these are women's socks. We're just gonna grab a pair. Okay, so our total spend there today was $49. I feel like the placemats alone will cover the entire cost and then put us into the profit. I did have a moment to look those up and it looks like they sell for at least $60 for four of them. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Um, that's the first time I've seen the Pimpernel with that pattern on them. Normally it's like game birds or like hunting scenes or florals or like classical English prints. <laughs> like that was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Um, so now I know to, to look at those more often. Um, the penguins were neat. I liked that vase. I thought that was, that was a neat piece. I think that was made in Honduras and that could be cool too. So um, sorry, there's a bunch of sirens. I'm distracted by the sirens going by right now. Um, I'm going to head on down the road. I think I'm going to go hit up Antiques Marketplace of Des Moines since it's been a few weeks since I was there last. Uh, we'll go see what JT's got going on on his booth and maybe Tiffany has some new treasures, Becky. We'll go see what they've got going on over there. Um, and I, you guys are going to have to wait for that video. And I will see all of you tomorrow. Let's go on. Get a baby in the little red wagon! Yay! Is it fun? Does she like it? Ooh. Do you like your wagon? <laughs> She's like, I like sitting in it more than laying in it. Hello. Do you want to sit in your wagon? Do you want to sit in it? You can sit up. There you go. Ready? Oh, she's in her wagon. Where'd you get that? Goodwill. I paid $4 for it. Mm.